Hey Connie Bunches, it's Phoebe. This is another video which is like a relaxed version of what I ate in a week. It's just like delicious vegan food um, I've made in like the last two weeks. So one of them, well the first one, is this really great lunch I've been taking um, for like a uni lunch when I need something that I can <laughs> have to finish in like 15 minutes but it has to last me like three hours um, or more. So they're like pesto crispied up cannellini beans. Um, in olive oil and then stir pesto through and then that's some broccolini tossed with parmesan cashew cheese and I put that on uh, mixed leaves with a bit of like balsamic vinaigrette drizzle over them and a big blob of cranberry like jam which you have like with turkey and stuff um, but it's I don't know a great combination of flavors and super nourishing and it's something that if I have a bit lukewarm that's fine so I would highly recommend that combination and it feels super nourishing obviously full of goodness and fiber to keep that immune system going fab and um, keeping you full. Okay, the next thing was these like crispy tofu tacos with a slaw thing. It was a recipe I found on Pinterest. I was keen to give it a try. Um, I had like a yogurty dressing from memory, but I didn't have the ingredients for that. So I decided to make like a super creamy avocado guacamole with tofuti cream cheese. And if you hadn't, haven't made a guacamole with tofuti cream cheese, you totally should. You know Auntie Anthony from Queer Eye who's all about putting sour cream in it? I guess it acts, adds, acts as like a replacement to that and so it's super creamy, doesn't go off in colour. Um, then the tofu had like nutritional yeast um, on it, so it had like an unami flavour as well with miso paste and we had it with tortillas and the slaw you saw. Sorry these clips are all over the place. Um, really wintry here, it gets dark pretty early so a lot of them are uh, with lovely yellow light. I've been enjoying this um, ice cream a lot. It tastes like the Milo one if you're in Australia, that like malted chocolate ice cream. So yeah, super good. Um, this yogurt's also fab, it's super rich, like a couple of heaped teaspoons and you're like, I'm good. So I've been having a few parfaits of them with like chopped banana coins and chopped strawberries. Oh, he's like, where's the toast? I can't have this yogurt business. Not a fan. Oh, but yeah, that's a fab breakfast part two I've been having while reading. I've been having this salad a bit. It's like a Caesar salad with boiled potatoes, a chopped up vegan burger, cucumber, olives, vegan parmesan. You get the gist. Um... These sausages are now stocked at Coles if you're in Australia and that is useful information to you. I really like them. They're gluten free as well which is kind of nice because a lot of mock meats aren't so that was a pretty ordinary but fab dinner. Um, we've been having the slow cooker is making a comeback um, being super wintry <laughs> at this time of the year. So uh, split pea soup, there's a recipe for that on my blog, is a surefire way, sure fire way to have a dinner that everyone's going to be loving. There's another one version, another version of my spontaneous lunch. I added some coconut bacon to that one and beetroot hummus. Um, yeah. And then I've not been having many smoothies lately because it's so cold. Too cold. Um, <laughs> you know that by the fact that your tits get like really sore if <laughs> you have it in the morning. So I've been kind of having them like when I get back from uni in the afternoon because it's like the warmest part of the day then and they're really hydrating and filling, tide you over till dinner. Um, this was my pesto, roasted cauliflower pesto pasta, which tastes so good. Um, I used up this pesto, which you can get in the pasta section of supermarkets, as well as some of my own. I was way too liberal with the cashew palms in there. Um, I think I added some kale in this one too. Yeah, it was like a lentil pasta, that's why it looks a bit green. Um, then having vegan or veggie burgers in the freezer is a great way to not be caught out when you want like a filling lunch but you can't figure out what that's going to look like. So I've been having a few of lunches that look like that. And then this is a pesto, parmesan, kale, mashed pumpkin, caramelized onion pizza recipe that's on the blog. It's so delicious. Um, and there's like half a large butternut pumpkin squash onto that and about three onions worth of so like it's it's filling and it's delicious and it has lots of greens on it even though you wouldn't know so um i was at the library the other day and they had the smith and daughters cookbook as well as the bish bash bosh um cookbook which you probably saw there so i had a bit of a cook up of things in that including this 
um, leek and kale cheesy gratin baked thing and oh my goodness so a lot of elements you have to infuse the milk um, and with like stock type ingredients that you're going to make the bechamel out of um, you have to saute the leek, steam the kale, make the bechamel, mix it all together then you like crunchied up some croutons in a pan with garlic and parsley um, before you spread them on top there they are looking glorious I used gluten free bread you couldn't taste the difference it was fine and then you baked it so a lot of steps but oh my goodness I mean it was a Smith and Dollars recipe so it's gonna be amazing but this would be like a great thing if you have like a pregnant mother in your life I don't know just all that kale I feel like that would be a lovely thing to bring around to them um, so yeah that's in their cookbook and then I was feeling like mushroom soup but it's just a super wintry fab thing that's a soaked slice of bread that Margaret Fulton has in her recipe Margaret Fulton's like an Australian cooking icon she just passed away I think a couple of weeks ago um, so my grandma gave me her epic cookbook to look through um, yeah but mushroom soup is always great I pureed it too much it literally looked like cement or something a few chunks would have been nice um, and then from the bish bash bosh cookbook I made their baked camembert because it looked it's so easy like you just mix up a like tapioca flour cashew nutritional yeast type of mixture and then you heat it and it becomes thick and gloopy then you put it in a dish drizzle some that was garlic oil and rosemary and then voila I was totes into this um super delicious i could have made it a bit smoother the texture was a little bit clumpy and i don't know how non-vegans would find the texture but the taste is amazing i loved it i'm gonna be making it as like an appetizer thing for people in the future i was very happy and impressed with this recipe and makes me want to try more nut cheese recipes like this with the tapioca flour situation um, and then I decided to make, they have a banana bread blondie recipe in their cookbook. It was super easy, it was just like wet ingredients in a food processor, then add in the flowers. And it had chopped almonds and chocolate in there too. And I used gluten free flour and I put it on the wrong oven setting, that's why it sort of puffed up a bit too much. But it was still delicious, I loved it. Quite sweet, but that's what blondies are. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the rest of the video, honey bunches. Sorry, my narration was a bit all over the place. Clearly, I'm not my most articulate self today. Okay, lots of love, and see you in the next video. Bye.